hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so as part of our new framework series so we have already completed all the concepts and all the videos uh, related to framework and uh, we have covered all the topics right now today i'll show you how to clone the project so basically uh, uh, the cloning part i have already covered in part 23 i guess how to clone the project but later on again uh, we used some other functionalities like how to run your project in the grid and uh, how to use docker and all right so suppose you want to clone this project and how to uh, do little bit uh, uh, changes right how to do that and how to run your uh, project initially uh, that i am going to show it today right? okay so let's get started so this is the project which we have created orange hrm project and uh, you can see this is the github url uh, i have already pushed the changes to the github so you can clone this project so let me clone it and then i'll show you what are the changes you need to make to run the script right uh, in your local okay so let me copy the url from here so i'll provide the link in the description box of this video this github url right and uh, you need uh, prerequisites like few things like git should be installed and you should have git account github account and eclipse uh, for sure right you need uh, eclipse as well so we have already covered all these topics in the like uh, in the playlist you can go through it like one by one we have already covered all the topics so let me show you how to do that so first of all i'll go uh, you need to go to the location where you want to clone the project right we have copied the url and i'll go to the eclipse uh, workspace uh, path where i have keep uh, kept all the projects right so let's say suppose we want to keep our project over here we want to clone the project over here okay so what i'll do simply we need to go git bash here and you need to just write one command git clone git clone and just put the url over here right this is our uh, framework url uh, git url right github url and just put the enter now it is cloning into selenium test framework so you can see it has been cloned right the project is imported over here uh, we can see the project is coming over here now what we'll do since we just cloned the project right so we have already the original project or in HRM project so if you're following the same uh, like if you're following my videos from beginning if you have created the same project in the same location then what you need to do you have to change the uh, pom.xml the artifact ID otherwise if you have not created the same project if you are not cloning the same project then you can uh, leave it like if you are doing it first time otherwise you have to go to the pom.xml open edit in notepad and uh, artifact id where is the artifact id here group id artifact id what we need to change here orange hrm project this one artifact id you need to just do it copy right so this is the thing you need to do and control s save it and you are good to go now what you need to do guys uh, here we have already cloned the project now you have to import this project into uh, eclipse right so how to do it so simply go to file and we have import option here new uh, you can see import option here right so click on import and existing maven project you have to select existing maven project click on next and you have to browse the location where you uh, clone the project right so uh, this is the uh, folder you need to select selenium test framework right select folder and then click on finish now you can see the project has been 
imported in eclipse as well and uh, you can see cylindrical uh, symbol over here and you can see there is a change right uh, you, you can see here so why because we made the changes in the pom.xml that's why it is showing like there is uh, some change has been made in the uh, project now how to run this project right so let me close this base class which is which was opened from the orange hrm project which is our original project so this is the project which i cloned right now so now suppose you want to run it uh, on your local what are the changes you need to make right suppose you don't want to run in docker and all so first we need to see like whether it is working fine or not like uh, our code is working fine or not right so there are few things few things we need to make changes over here the first thing is test data of course we need to make some changes over here but before that let me open the config.properties and we are not going to use grid so what i'll do i'll simply make it false okay and i'll open the main class as well uh, base class okay and in the base class config browser method will be there configure browser this method is there right and here we need to change the url so in case of selenium grid we are using this url underscore grid correct url underscore grid and now we are going to change it to some other url url local so suppose you want to uh, use the local url if you remember in part uh, i think 17 we spoke about how to uh, set up the orange orange hrm site locally right so if you don't want to use that one then you can use the the original url which we have the main url of orange hrm so let me run that one so like this this is the the main url we have where username admin and password is admin123 right and this is the site which we have set up uh, we have done uh, all the setup locally because of the database testing right if you remember and for that we have to uh, run this uh, exam uh, control panel as well right we have to start this apache and mysql uh, server right so suppose you don't want to uh, run this uh, like you have if you haven't done the setup locally then you can use this url so this is the url which we are going to use url ba underscore base so what i am going to do here i'll use this url underscore base okay and uh, just save this and here also we make the changes so save this config dot uh, properties as well and here uh, i'm not sure whether we have used these uh, the credentials from here but let's change it as well admin and admin 123 admin 123 okay now what we need to do we have to make one more changes so i'll go to the src test resources test data and here also we need to make the changes in the test data so for valid login we have used orange hrm underscore h verma which is the uh, local credentials right uh, for the local site so what i'll do i'll use the base url uh, credentials uh, admin and admin one two three uh, control s invalid anyway that is not required employee verification we are not going to do for this basic testing okay now this is done so i think everything is done let me open the test ng.xml test ng .xml and uh, what we'll do uh, i think we can uh, comment this line because we are not going to use the local url right the site which we have set up locally we are going to use the base url and uh, we haven't done the we don't know the database for that right because if we are going to use this uh, site locally uh, for the database verification we have uh, installed the uh, site locally and we have done the db verification using that right so if you are going to use the base url then it will not work right if you are going to use this url then it will not work so what we'll do simply i'll comment uh, this test this test case from here okay so just comment this class db verification test class 
and I think rest of the things are fine so let me run it whether it is working fine or not so right click and run as test ng suite So it is executing the test cases all the test cases you can see all the actions are performed web driver instance is closed home page test is started in three browsers it is going to execute all the test cases now you can see total test run six pass six failure zero right now let me open the uh, reports how it looks where we kept the report extend report here open with web browser so you can see this is the report we have api test case is passed and we exclude the db test right and here you can see one dummy test as well so you can see the admin admin123 so it took the uh, new credential the base url credentials right so you can see the invalid uh, test here, here and invalid login test and orange hrm logo verification it excludes the db verification test and all so this is how you can clone the project and you can import in eclipse and you can run for the first time and uh, you can go through all the classes how we have configured everything so this is what i wanted to very uh, i wanted to uh, tell you guys uh, how you can set up it uh, for the first time without docker without grid right and uh, if you want to follow if you want to do it with grid and uh, you want to use the docker as well then just follow the uh, like all the uh, latest videos step by step so that you can configure it easily so this is all for today and uh, we have created all the documentation here as well in the ati digital hub site so for the prerequisite which uh, i have already spoken about you need git and github right so how to do git and github basics push your code to github uh, download and set up maven set up orange hrm site local in your local system so all the documentation are uh, in this site so this is all for today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.